All right, so we're going to look at mapping, and we're going to look at the color map first, okay? And you're going to see my variation or my take on the color map. A lot of people will drag it into Photoshop and paint on it. You can paint on it here. There's uh, oh, there's so many different ways you could do this. It's it's really quite hard to kind of explain how many different ways there are to do this. I'm going to show you my favorite and I use it all the time and if you've ever watched any of my videos I use texture baking a lot so here basically what I have is a skull that has seven layers okay this is the same thing that we've done in the previous videos and now we're going to put some texture on this and that way it'll give you a process all the way from start to finish I'm going to put this, if you, if you look at 1 and then you look at 2, um, there's quite a significant difference between the two. So I'm going to choose to use number 2 as my reference point for textures. Okay? Even though I can go back down to 1. By placing that at 2, I'm going to go down to displacement map. And I've, I've generated these before, but this time I'm going to generate an extra one here. I'm going to choose four adaptive and create displacement map. Now also I want to do this at 4096 and I'll explain why such a high number. So let's create now well, let's just create displacement. Map. I don't want to export it. So it's always easy to reduce the quality of something. Um, I'm not going to reduce the quality of this map because it's so useful. I can do that to other maps and I certainly can do that in other programs other than ZBrush a lot more efficient. So I can what, take my end product, take it into Photoshop and reduce it down to 2048 if I need to. Now it's very important that you know throughout this process that I am going to be using Maya a lot in this chapter. I want to show you exactly how you port to other programs. And I think that's what a lot about this chapter is all about, is just the porting and texturing of objects for other programs. Now if you want to use Blender, that's fine. If you're a student without Maya, I would definitely say Blender is probably a good option for you but I'm going to be using Maya a lot. And Maya is, is a lot of industry standard behind Maya and the most relevant. Now this map will take a long time to generate as you can see at the top it's crawling across so what I'm going to do is stop this video and when it gets done I'll restart a new video and we'll walk you through the process of what we can do with this very detailed displacement map.